What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Community. This time it's season four, episode number eight. Uh, in the last episode, we saw uh, Jeff and Pierce spend a lot of time together because he had to try to get Pierce away from the school as they tried to recruit a whale, right? As they called it. Um, yeah, just a, a rich student. Yeah, a rich student who would spend years and years there spending money. And he was a degenerate. <laughs> which makes sense and they ended up convincing him to be there it only took for them to try to treat him normally so all that stuff with the strippers the partying and all that all for nothing the pop pop yeah that should have been the thing that they kept away that made me so mad though that moment was the moment and was like no this has gone too far <laughs> like, are you kidding me take away the stupid catchphrase it's annoying uh troy and shirley Went to a class trying to be a PE teacher. Shirley uh, excelled, and Troy did not because he's just a student. He's very emotional for that position. Uh, we are also suspecting that that moment with Pierce and Jeff is leading absolutely nowhere because it always does. So, yeah, that's just about it. Uh, if you are interested in our full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down in the description. So let's just jump right in. Season 4, episode number 8. And then in the season finale, they reveal the whole thing was a dream. When the inspector wakes up next to oh, man. very young and very <laughs> topless Cheryl Teagues. Oh. Even Pierce loves this show now? It's not Inspector Space Time, it's the American version, and it's a travesty. It's broad, obvious, sexist, and the timing is... Honey, I'm Dean! What the fuck? What the fuck? It is a Sadie Hawkins dance, which means girls ask the boys. Oh, I love those. So, ladies, get out there and... Make yourselves useful. So you're saying there's one day a year when women are free to choose their own mates? What is this, cave person times? Well, I have already started on a Sadie Hawkins banner, so this thing's pretty much set in stone. Well, then maybe I'll throw my own dance. Oh, boy, Brenna. You think a dance can just be thrown together willy-nilly? You think I decide to just do... Didn't you just do that? Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and instead of Sadie Hawkins... My dance will honor a real feminist icon, someone who worked for women's rights every day of the year, Sophie B. Hawkins. Oh. It was a really... I think you meant to say Susan B. Anthony, not Sophie B. Hawkins. Britta for the whoops! <laughs> I didn't Britta anything. I meant Sophie B. Hawkins. Really? Your plan was to throw a dance honoring the singer of Damn, I Wish I Was Your Lover. And as it laid me down, which in my opinion is the far superior song. Ooh, that is a good song. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I am throwing a Sophie B. Hawkins dance. Rita, just take the L and move on. <laughs> You're really doing this. Look, as someone who faked being a lawyer for seven years, I appreciate your commitment to the bit. <laughs> <laughs> You do realize that if you call it a Sophie B. Hawkins dance, people will expect Sophie B. Hawkins to actually be there, right? Good point. Yes. And when she comes, I'm going to be like, I will remember you doubting me. That's a Sarah McLaughlin song. <laughs> Britta, take the L. Can I set you up with a date for the Sadie Hawkins Day dance? A blind date. I've always thought of myself as more of an acquired taste, but OK. Oh, if you're open to meeting someone, there's a number of eligible young ladies in my church. Surely, nope. I'm already finding a date for Abed. <laughs> I asked first. There's no reason we can't both help Abed find someone. Why don't we each pick a girl and then let yep. Abed decide instead of making it a competition? Annie is trying to help him find a girl. You're trying to help him find God. Yeah. So what? So you told a lie. Big deal. The important thing is never to admit it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Pierce is going to get Sophie B. Hawkins, isn't he? Check out my friend Britta Sophie B. Hawkins dance. I'll be spinning the hits from yesterday and today, which are basically the same to me since I have Tangnesia. That guy's like Teflon. No matter how much awful stuff he does, he keeps getting another chance. Yeah, he's like the Colin Farrell of people. You guys do realize you gave him that second chance, right? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Yeah. I asked if you go to the Sadie Hawkins dance with me into the balloon. Could you hear it? Sure, I'd be happy to go with you. <laughs> Super duper, Mr. Cooper. Nice. I feel like I've seen her. Chose the girl I picked. <laughs> it's cool. Not like it was a competition or anything. <laughs> Just 
be gentle when you tell Shirley that she was the loser. <laughs> I hope you will at least consider it, and not just because saying no would crush this poor girl, but because I don't want you to miss God out. Damn it, Shirley! And your fucking guilt. I bet she's a You're baddie right. too. I'd love to go to British dance with her. Oh, good. Wait, what? I'll set it up. Oh, I hope this doesn't hurt Annie's feelings. Abed is gonna live out one of those damn hijinks episodes of television. We've seen this. Don't you already have a date to the dance? Yep. Now I have two, which means I can do yeah. the classic two dates in one night sitcom trope. Yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> I like old fashioned. I find it refreshing. Speaking of refreshing, I'm gonna get us some punch. Be right back. Oh. She's a cute girl. Yeah. The other one, maybe too childish, but I don't know. Can I help you? Oh, I just wanted to try on a different look. I'm pretty indecisive, so I may be back here a few times if that's okay. Mm -hmm. But she'll definitely be here. Oh, yeah. Sophie, be coming. Jeff so it just be coincidence that somebody posted a Craigslist ad an hour ago that says, looking for Sophie B. Hawkins. We're running low on chips. Here's what I'm thinking. I go over to the Sadie Hawkins dance at the snack inspector doing random spot checks and confiscate their chips. All I need is a disguise. Or you could just go to the supply closet and get some more chips. Okay, but I, I still need to use the mustache. He wants he wants to do, like, goofy hijinks. Yeah. Here, in lieu of flowers, I got you this. It's quirky. Thanks, governor. I'll just put it in my invisible sack. <sighs> okay, I'm going to get us some punch. Things are great. Actually, Jessica did mention that she's cold. Could she borrow your sweater? Ooh. Maybe the purple one you wore last week. I didn't see you wear it at home, so I think it's still in your locker next to your umbrella. I, I guess I could check. Could you? That'd be great. <laughs> By the way, I'm surprised you let her share the cafeteria with you. Oh, I didn't want to. But once she guaranteed the presence of a certain someone, I couldn't say no. <laughs> I wouldn't get your hopes up for Sophie B. Talking about him. <laughs> you reading the Bible? No spoilers. I'm really hoping that things turn around for this joke guy. So, how do I look? Good. He gonna get with her? I don't know. She looks familiar. What is it? Isn't that, um... Shit. What's her face? So this thing's turning out to be a little tougher than I thought. You want to help? I'd like to, but I still got like 1,200 pages left of this Bible. Yes, of course I will. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you been doing Bible study? I mean, making miniature hats out of duct tape. Oh, duct tape hats. <gasps> oh! <laughs> okay. All right. Everyone's going to know I'm a liar. Help me. Oh, Britta. Let me tell you a story about a friend of mine that everyone called a liar. His name was Bernie Madoff. Pierce, he was a liar. He stole billions of dollars from his clients. <laughs> Has this been confirmed? Oh, my God. <laughs> I birded it. Yes, that's what you do. Abbott seems to be having a good time, which is all that matters. You're right. So they're in the same the right room. Choice. He certainly yeah. did. So we agree. The best woman won. She certainly did. He's on two dates, isn't he? He certainly is. <laughs> how, how could you not expect that? If anything, he's on three dates. Definitely this hooking up. Movie. This would be the part where we kiss. Captain Marvel. You're right. Except right? We're doing a sitcom trope, so it'd be totally that her? Out of place. I don't know. Time to go get caught and make I've a movie to the girl I really like. I think I'm gonna go with Jessica. She seems to be the audience favorite. For her okay, name. Fine. It's like Bree something. What the fuck, Abed? Let me explain. What about wanting to grow? Or was that just a lie so you could do another world famous Abed TV adventure? These are real people you're messing with. Cat right. is over there hula hooping all by herself. Abed. Sounds like she's having fun. World, people can actually get hurt. No, oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess she's sad. <laughs> well, it blew up in my face in a slightly different way than I planned. Can I help you? Where's Rachel? She said she had to go. Where? I don't know. She seemed upset. She ran out of here without tagging half the stuff. I mean, whose water wings are these? What the fuck? I'm back here. Never mind. <laughs> the worst part is that I met a girl tonight that I really do like. But I was so busy chasing one trope, I missed the trope right under my nose. But the girl I liked all along was under my nose. <laughs> and now I screwed things up. I don't know if I can make them right. Aww. Wait, this one's real, right? Yeah, I'm really sad. Aww. I hate to say I told you so, but I'm not saved to Britta's face. Sophie, 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 Sophie. What is the nature of hope? Sophie. 
Murphy's not coming, guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good evening. I'm Sophie B. Hawkins. I think you know this one. Oh, man. It was Pierce, right? I would assume. There was a girl here tonight. Her name was Rachel. I met her and it was very pleasant. And I made a mistake. And now I'd very much like to continue this conversation in private. <laughs> <laughs> So, would you like to go out sometime? I would like that. Do you want to pretend like you're just going out with me on a bet? Oh, I'd like that very much. Mm. But maybe we should try normal first. Sure. I prefer as I lay me down. Me too. I can't believe she pulled this off. I know. It was Pierce. It had to have been. Yeah. He's the only one with the connections. You did this? But why? Because in the face of all logic and reason, Britta didn't back down. That makes no sense. <laughs> also, I didn't like the way you were being such a jerk to her. Well, she was acting crazy. Yeah, but what choice does she have? You make fun of her, you use her name as a synonym for screwing up. Cut her some slack, Jeff. You do it too. Uh, hey, though, this is the most sense he's ever made. Yeah. Pierce has had a good couple episodes. I know it's probably impossible to read my texts without them sounding sarcastic, but I assure you, this one is as earnest as they come. Congratulations on an awesome dance. You britted the hell out of this thing. It just doesn't feel the same. As I lay me down to sleep, as I oh my god. <laughs> No one far away, I'll whisper your name into the sky. All right, that was season four, episode number eight of Community. Another dance one. Haven't seen one of those in a while, so that was nice. Uh, Britta had a successful dance thanks to Pierce. You know, he did a good thing for once. Um, uh, I have one question. What? Are we supposed to know who Susan B. Hawkins is? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Or I, Sophie, I, Sophie B. Hawkins? Yeah. Cause I've is she is is was she a real artist? I've never heard of her. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's another reference we just don't get. Okay, I don't know. Uh, not sure. But we also had Abed live out his lifelong dream of living out television. Right. He got mm -hmm. to do the. Whole the two the whole two dates, one dance thing. Yeah, we've seen that many many times before. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember. I don't know the if this is a great example, but I, I the only one that comes to mind, and it's not a great example, is Boy Meets World. Yeah, it's not <laughs> it's not two dates. Yeah, but it, it's similar. It's the it's the same trope. It's just not yeah. two dates. That's the one that came to my mind too. Yeah, but I know I've seen that too before. I just can't think of anything else other than boy meets world right now but i thought this episode was fine um nice little moment for britta i guess she's always getting shit on so it's nice for her to get a w every once in a while yeah but again and we've talked about this before in, in some other episode back in like season two or something but like she needs to learn to just take the l sometimes yeah she does like i i get that it like pierce helped her and it worked out this time but she can't always just double down. Yeah. It does get kind of cringe sometimes. Uh, but Abed, also, what was I going to say? Uh, I was just going to say also using Britta as like a positive term just doesn't feel the same. I mean, I guess. <laughs> but Abed found someone, it seems. Not sure if it's going to go anywhere because it is that one chick from Captain Marvel, it looks like. So she is kind of a big actress. I'm not sure at that time, though. So I don't know if she was like hella busy. So she could have been a reoccurring character. I don't know. But from what it looks like, he found someone. Kind of. We'll see, I guess. I wonder if his USB wife is going to have a problem with that. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to ask her. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it was an okay episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our reactions. 
If you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a comment down below, and if you're interested in our full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down below in the description. So with all that being said, we will see you guys in the next one.